Hey guys and welcome to the video. Here today this one should be fairly quick. I'm going to show you how to completely disable Webman so that when you start up your PS3, Webman doesn't start up at all. It's still there, it just won't start. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up my PS3 just so you can see. Pay close attention here to the upper right hand corner and when it's booting up and it gets to the uh, login screen or whatever, you'll see it'll say Webman loaded. So this can come in handy if you are trying to figure out if Webman is conflicting with any of your, of your homebrews that you have. See, it says Webman loaded. Um, we're gonna be doing an Artemis tutorial soon, and I know that there is an issue when people use Artemis and Webman is running. So this is an easy way to turn it completely off when you boot up your system. Now, when you do this, you will still see your Webman games entry on your XMB right here, but when you go into it and you try to load a game or do anything, you're just going to get um, an error screen in the browser, so it's not gonna do anything. Also, you won't have FTP capability. You can still use FTP if you go into Multiman or Rebug or some other homebrew that allows you to do it. You can do this uh, with a file manager like Multiman or the one that's in Managuns or whichever one you wanna use. You can also FTP um, the changes that we're going to do using either your phone or a PC, we're going to just make a change to one small file. We don't even need to access our dev flash. You can do this on any custom firmware, any version of Hen, any version of Webman, new and old. And there may be other ways to completely disable it, but this is the one I've been doing for years and it works just fine. Okay, let's get started. All right, guys, so you have seen earlier that my Webman loaded up. I have FTP running. I've connected it already. Again, you can do this via FTP or use a file manager on your PS3. We're going to head on over to Dev HDD 0. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and we are going to look for the boot plugins text file. I'm going to go ahead and drag that to my desktop because we need to look inside of it. Now, if you're using Multiman, or the Mana Guns file manager, whatever, you can double click on the boot plugins text file and it will show you what the contents are. But I'm doing it here on the PC, so when we double click it, uh, and we can use any notepad program we want. I'm just using the basic one. We can see that the entry is right here. Now, this is the only entry I have in my boot plugins text file. This is the one that is responsible for loading up Webman when you start up your system. It's webftpserver.sprx. So in order to turn Webman off or disable it, whatever you want to call it, all you need to do is change the name of this. Normally, I just do dot .off or dot .off, and that's it. You can change the name to whatever you want, but I suggest you keep it something simple. Once you've changed it, just hit save. It's been saved, let's go back, and we're just going to replace the one that's in the PS3. Okay, and that's it, it's been replaced. At this point, you would just reboot your PS3 and you will notice that Webman will not load. Oh, and by the way, when you want it to turn back on, all you have to do is come back in here, um, delete whatever it was you added and make sure it's back to webman or web ftp underscore server dot sprx save it okay and then put it back into your system reboot and then it will turn on but there is another way to do this you can just rename the boot plugins text for example i normally just put dot off right and hit enter and that's it now you've changed the name of the text file and webman will not boot up however i do not recommend you do this if you have other entries inside of the boot plugins text file there could be other entries and whatever is dependent on those entries will not run or function but if this is the only entry that you have then yeah you can just rename the whole text file, which I think is even easier still, and you'll be good to go. You put the dot off, reboot the system, webman doesn't run, 
remove it, reboot, and then Webman will run again. So yeah, it's really up to you and how everything is set up on your system, but that is how you turn Webman on and off. So I've already changed the file name here since that is the only thing that's in my PS3. Let's reboot it and we will see what happens. All right, so oops, wrong thing. Okay, let's do a hard reboot. Now, again, when you turn off Webman, keep in mind that the Webman games entry on your XMB will still be there, but you won't be able to load anything I'll show you right now. You should get an error if you try to load anything up. All right. Let's just give it another second or so. All right, there we go. And you can see that the webman loaded did not pop up. Okay, right, let's go to webman games. Let's go here. Let's try and launch Grand Theft Auto and you will see that you'll get an error screen. There we go. All right, because webman is not loaded. And if you want it to load back up, all you do is the opposite of whatever it was you did, reboot and you'll be good to go. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you know, I appreciate you. And if you found anything here informative, useful, helpful in any way, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you know, the best way to do that, as always, just to hit that like button, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Be careful out there, guys. Be safe, but have fun. And we will see you on the next one.